majestic range in central China. The warm and moist southeast monsoon reaches King Ling in May. Tinges of spring are felt everywhere. The long dormant mountains come back to life. The good season begins. We're lives eager to flourish. sister were born less than a month ago, which makes the family of Sichuan snub-nosed monkeys immersed in joy. The sprouts of plants are the best source of nutrition for mother Talkins after giving birth. The calves, at more than a month old, need breast milk to grow sturdily. The Sichuan snub-nosed monkey and the Talkin have relatively large population in the Keenling Mountains. Babies that are born this year are the key to increase their populations. They will grow up in the company of their family members. Being born into various families of diverse groups, they dwell across the Qingling Mountains and therefore have different growing stories to tell. This is a group of more than 100 Sichuan snub-nosed monkeys. It consists of eight families, each headed by an alpha male. This is Scar, named after the wound on his lips. He is a family patriarch with seven wives. meet Buck Teeth, the favorite one in Scar's harem. It is not because she gave birth to the boy and the girl, as one of them is a stepchild. The little girl is of their own. There is a preference for female offspring in their tradition, because they are essential for the family's reproduction. A mother's fortune depends on her child. This is the reason why Buckteeth became the empress. Huddling up in the arms of Buckteeth, a little boy had lost his birth mother. We call him Diu Diu. His father, Scar, has a special affection for him. So he entrusts Diu Diu to his favorite wife. Buckteeth became mother of a pigeon pair. Buckteeth is a great mom. She takes Diu Diu as her own. Sometimes, however, the biological daughter is not that happy.
On the other hand, the talking calf is lucky. The warmth of mother is its exclusive. Yet happy time always goes fast. Mother has to eat most of the day in order to produce more milk on postpartum recovery. Most of the time, the calves have to stay in the family's temporary nursery. Being taken care of by special nurses. Female talkins of the group take turns to do this job. When mothers need to forage or rest, the nurses come to help with the kids. Being in the nursery and accompanied by their siblings make it less boring for the little ones. Juju and his little sister have been loved by the whole family. The only thing that could upset them is their brothers and sisters. Mother would not leave them alone with the mischievous kids. Unfortunately, mother would neither hold them in her arms all the time. While Buck Teeth eats, Dew Dew and the girl are looked after by other members. In the eyes of their siblings, they are merely like stuffed toys. This is Nini. About to turn three, she is also a daughter of Buck Teeth. Always there to help. She is the favorite big sister of the two infants. Bunny also wants to play with them, but he was not even qualified. As a boy in the family, the emerging warts on his lips indicate that he is already a five-year-old teenager. In the group of snub-nosed monkeys, a boy showing signs of sexual maturity will be ruthlessly expelled by his father, even in his adolescence. For thousands of years, the rules have never changed. Bunny is an exception. Father might keep him around just for the prosperity of the family. But none of the females would want this maturing teenager any closer to themselves or their children. It 
it is still a bit cold in May. Raining is not good for the snub-nosed monkeys. Losing heat too quickly can be fatal. Only at this time is Bunny allowed to get close and feel at home. Diu Diu and his younger sister are tightly surrounded by their family. The warmth of family is their chance to survive the crisis. Among the Sichuan snub-nosed monkeys, unity and friendship are not only the basic rules, but also the magic weapon for the group to grow stronger. The streams are swelling in the Qingling Mountains in June. Rainwater is gathered in thousands of gullies, forming numerous ponds at the valley bottom. This is a sunny shelter with mild wind. The good weather and abundant food make it an excellent habitat for the Takin family. Fresh foliage is their staple food of high nutritional value in this season. This is the best time for replenishment. The Talkins have to prepare for the long distance migration and the family reproduction. The mother Talkin is planning to conceive another baby. Breastfeeding lasts only four months for the calf. If everything works, it should be weaned in two months. That means it needs to learn from its mother in recognizing more edible things. Taking the branches as the highway, the snub-nosed monkeys are like skywalkers in the jungle. Fresh flowers and tender leaves lure them toward high places. For the finest ingredients above them, Diu Diu and his sister seem a little eager. Yet they can't eat anything for now, other than mother's milk. What they really yearn for is the view on the treetop. As a little boy, Diu Diu is very curious and active. The world is full of temptations for the baby who looks up to its siblings. Climbing trees is the first thing to learn for every monkey cub. Diu Diu is brave enough, yet he lacks the strength. Buck Teeth looks worried. Not far away, Nini has been watching. With the big sister's escort, Diu Diu finally has the widest view ever. This is a patient predator who is good at using the elements of surprise. It has been coveting something. 
thanks to the Sentinels, Predator's plan failed. Mother has a swift response. Dew Dew and his sister returned safely to Buck Teeth. Fleeing in a hurry, Bunny got injured. It can take care of itself well. In the canopy, a pleasant surprise awaits. This is more than a delicacy. It's an excellent remedy for the injury. Deep in the forest, life is full of the unexpected. And this keeps the inhabitants living and thriving. Kindling Mountains have distinctive seasonal forests. Following the change of seasons, its appearance varies from the bottom to the mountain top. The forest dwellers have it at their fingertips. The call of seasons guides them in moving, migrating, and adjusting their diets. Temperature in the valley rises in July. The Tawkins fur helps them withstand the cold, but not for the summer. They need to pursue suitable temperatures and fine food. The destination lies on the top of the mountains the Tawkin families begin to form the largest cluster of the year. Young Tawkins, walking in the middle of the pack, are heavily protected. On the long journey, their safety is the biggest concern of the mothers. Clustering is for the best defense and protection. In a community of more than 20 Tawkins, the calves can rest assured that they will enjoy the journey of growing and conquering. Broadleaf forests at an altitude of 2,400 meters have complex topography, cool climate, abundant water, and various food to offer. Dudu and his sister arrived here three days ago with their family. This is a perfect summer resort. There are good snacks in the streams, but the cubs are obviously afraid to try them. Anyway, bug teeth couldn't let go of them either.
in the middle of the jungle. Rock Teeth seems totally at ease, allowing Dudu and his sister to hang around with other monkeys. Although it is a bit gloomy, the pair is very excited. Playing alone like this is something they have longed for. almost play with abandon. Mother turns a blind eye to them. In fact, she appreciates the leisure time for herself. Sichuan snub-nosed monkeys obtain alkaline substances by licking rocks, which helps to neutralize the acid in the body. It is never good to overeat. Buck teeth always takes charge and knows when to stop. The track between the ridge and the valley has witnessed the Tawkins migrations in years. Local people call it the Tawkin Path. It is also a proof of the prosperous Tawkin population. The open field on the ridge offers a summer pasture for the group and a playground for the calves. Beginning to lose interest, it wants to explore elsewhere, so it urges its mother. The mother is head of the family. She bellows during the migration to guide the members from one foraging site to another among the mountain ridges. The spoiled calf has for a while decided the direction of the herd's movement. some things that the little one doesn't call the shot. Its elder sister is five years old. She has just matured, presenting a spirit of youth. She has a large number of suitors in the cluster. This is one of the bulls in the group. His strength is there for everyone to see. He has been lingering for a long time. The girl's detachment and rejection never affect his passion for love. Being infatuated, he is an experienced playboy. He knows that following and caring are his best chances to win her heart. Another suitor shows up. For the first bull, things may get worse. Or he might get lucky. Duel is the right way for a show of strength. The defeated rival left which means he may stand a chance. The girl refused, probably because she just became mature and not ready for love yet. For all the suitors, 
Love, just like the migration, will be a long journey to go. The migration of the Talkin' Cluster is not just for summer getaway or seeking fresh grass. Increasing social and reproduction opportunities are the ultimate goals. Trek has armed the young Talkins with endurance and a strong body. Everything that happens in the cluster helps the young one to grow. It needs three more migrations of the scale to grow up looking like its parents, finding its place in the family and the community. During this process, Mother will always be by its side. The two youngsters are four months old. Dudu becomes more and more adept in climbing trees. The timid sister also tries to leave her mother's embrace. Big sister Nini always shows up at the right time. Encouragement and care from family members are the best company for the cubs when they grow up. Growing is an important process for all creatures. It is essential to have company on the way. It can be your parents, your friends, a leaf, a handful of soil. Different companies tell different growing stories. In the Keeneland Mountains, such wonderful stories are being shared around the corner.